A while ago, Bushnell came to me and they wanted to run a test on speed of play with and without laser rangefinders. So we're going to use a few of the participants in our lab program. They're going to start without the rangefinders the first day, so we're going to go out there and see how they do. We're underway. You're about 200 yards. Yeah, that's we're probably playing about 205. I like that number, even though you can only see three quarters of the flag, probably. My ability level right now, the range finder would improve and increase the speed of my play because I go right to my ball. There's no looking around. It lays the target, tell me how much I have, automatic club selection. Versus walking around for five minutes trying to find a marker to figure out the yardage, wind, uphill, pin placement, and then make a decision. Yeah, this course is playing longer than the yardage is the other thing. Try to pick the right club and then yeah, short. For me personally, if I, without knowing the exact distance, I'm kind of guessing on my club, so that makes me start to think about my swing, nice. and then I air shots and chunk them, top the wall. It's, it's been pretty rough today. Same thing as yesterday, guys. Uh, we are getting the use of the uh, Bushnell Tour V3. Uh, it does have the jolt technology, so it's really simple. You guys are just going to point to turn it on. It will jolt on most anything that has a reflection. Again, speed of play, we're going to play as if it's a normal round. And if there aren't any other questions, Bushnells for each and every one of you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. But that vibrating thing is nice. 166. 106. 210 for me. The range finder definitely helps with the uh, club selection and just find it easy to pull out whatever I need out of my bag and stick to it because I know that my range is going to be validated by a range finder. 189. Especially if you know your yardages with your clubs and the exact yardage to the pin. You're not trying to figure out, okay, there's a 10 yard gap between what we're calculating here and what the flag could be. I mean, that's a whole club for somebody. Oh, it's only. 290 to clear those stake lines. 302 the top of the bunker on the far side, so we'll fade one off of that. From the pace of play standpoint, we're doing faster, definitely. Because we, uh, we know the yardage and uh, you, you pick a club and you don't change your mind. I mean, I know for me, just cutting down the time of having to calculate yardages and whatnot just eliminates another part of the game I'll have to think about. You know what you want to hit and you hit it, so it's a lot faster.